Welcome to the Blue Wave Sports Show. I'm Hannah Warner. And I'm Andrew Ramey. Thank you for joining us for our FAU football preview. Let's get it started. The Owls are trying to keep the momentum they had at the end of last season. They won their last four games to finish up a record with 6-6. Those four wins came under Coach Brian Wright, who decided to stay at FAU as their offensive coordinator for their new head football coach, Charlie Partridge. Speaking of the new ball coach, Partridge talks to the Blue Wave about how he transitioned to being the head coach. Well, uh, you know, I've coached multiple positions, primarily defense, but I've been on the offensive side of the ball early too. And as far as who mentored me, I really took pieces of, of all the head coaches I've worked for. I've been very lucky. I've worked for some great ones from Dan McCarney, who's now at North Texas, who's doing a great job there. I worked for him at Iowa State. Dave Wanstead, I worked for him at Pittsburgh. I worked with Barry Alvarez. He was the athletic director, but his career speaks for himself. Brett Bielema, what he's done. So I've really taken pieces of all the head coaches I've had the chance to work with. Throughout fall camp, there has been a quarterback controversy between Greg Hankerson and Jacquez Johnson. But now that the camp has come to an end, Coach Partridge appears to be hinting that Johnson will be the starting quarterback. Here's Coach on the quarterback competition. Well, if we were to play a game tomorrow, it would be uh, kind of like I've said, that hadn't changed where Quez Johnson would be our starter. Um, but that battle is uh, going to continue on. If there's a point where it were to change, then it would change. But right now, Quez is our starter. Even though it appears that Jacquez will be the starting quarterback, he was not one of the four captains announced by Coach Partridge. The captains were voted on by the players, and here is the coach on who the captains will be and the process of selecting them. She started, but uh, I'm very excited to follow up on the tweet that I sent out last night with our four captains. Um, Andre Kirk, uh, Dijon Smith, Alex DeLeon, and Tony Moore are quite honestly the four that I expected to be named. And, uh, it was 100% their, uh, their vote. We had, the way we did the vote was each kid, each young man in the 105 was able to vote for two on their side and one on the other side. So it was weighted based on what side of the ball they were on. So every kid voted for three players. Um, and those four guys won. Uh, there's a number of others that got a good amount of votes, but those four were our clear captains uh, as voted by their teammates. The Owls take the field for the first time against the University of Nebraska Cornhuskers on August 30th. This will be the start of a new era of FAU football under Coach Partridge, and here he is on how he is preparing for his first game as a head coach. But I feel like we got a good plan from him. I mean, we've, Chuck, we've done everything from I know where everybody's sitting on the plane, I know which buses guys are on, I know what our meals are, I know exactly what time we're getting up Saturday morning. Uh, so we, we've been through it, we've drilled it. Um, Saturday was a relief for me. Saturday, uh, because any, any nerves about the, the fringe situations, watching our kids handle it, it, it was fun. It was fun to see. Um, that helped relieve my nerves as kids handle their things through the course of the week. Uh, that, that helps relieve my nerves. I'm, and I'm a product of certainly people I've been with when you look for indicators. Um, our kids on time. Our kids focused on everything they're doing. Those things can help release nervous energy that you have because they're in a good place. So far, our indicators are positive. We'll be right back with the panel to break down the schedule and predictions for the upcoming season.